Hey, I just watched the first two episodes and introduction for a Tribe 12. This looks like good stuff. It's supposed to be like a home video thing from 2008, of course, but if you don't know, it's a uh, Slender Man thing on YouTube. It looks promising. I'm probably going to watch all 36 of them today. But I want to mention, other than uh, other than recording these PC videos and stuff, uh, my free time I play... Well, I just finished Uncharted for PS Vita. And uh, I just bought, um, uh, what's it called, Sound Shapes for PS Vita and PS3. I can play it on either. Um, so I'm going to be playing that today at some point. I'm still playing... New Super Mario Bros. 2, it's it's a great game, but it's just like Mario needs more than a couple little gimmicks to keep it fresh, in my opinion. I'm just not as addicted to it as the past well, three new Super Mario Brothers games. They just need to change something. Can't just keep re releasing the same game with updated graphics and new levels. But anyway, um, I was going to say something else, but I kind of forgot, so, oh yeah. Speaking of PS3 crossplay, I, I played uh, Hustle Kings for PS Vita, the demo. Um, I really liked it, but I, I really hated the touchscreen controls. They were terribly inconsistent. Like, you, you can't just move the Q-stick left and right, like, if you change camera view, touch control changes where you have to move it like up and down relative to the stick. It's really, really strange controls. And I feel like it would be better with the physical control if there's no way to change it. But on PS3, there's no touch screen. So that must have physical control. So I'll be trying that because how often does a good pool game comes out come out? It looks solid, but but I just hated the controls, the touch screen controls that you were forced to use on the Vita. And if you do, if you are interested in a pool game, definitely check out Pool Paradise on the GameCube, because that game is amazing. It's like set in a tropical location, and they have like all kinds of crazy boards, and like, I think there's kind of like a career mode, I don't know, I haven't played it in like five years, but it's awesome. So. If Fussle Kings fails to satisfy, I'll go back to my GameCube game, Pool Paradise. Well, well, that was an unnecessarily long episode of Vesper 5. I'm going here. Yeah! That was definitely the Loch Ness Monster. There's no arguing that. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Loch Ness Monster in the hot tub. <laughs>